oh my daughter you need to be intentional about finding purpose beautiful people welcome back to life and living with latte i hope you've had a beautiful week so far and i hope you're looking forward to a greater weekend thank you very much um for the to the new subscribers and also people who liked and commented on the last video it's really appreciated today's video is going to be kind of off of the last one i used to think god was a scary mystical being um that you know if he wanted to talk to me, he would come in a very dramatic way with thunder and lightning and be like, oh my daughter. The majority of believers think that the will of God is like, you know, a dot and you have to like pinpoint on that dot. And if you don't get it right, then you're out of the will of God. The will of God is like a circle. It's like a circle and there's like a boundary. And as long as you're within that boundary, you're in the will of God. But when you go out of the boundary, you're outside the will of God. A lot of times we feel like God is far away from us. At that time, you're the one that's far away from God because God is always there. He's a loving father and he's always ready to listen to you and to speak to you. And the only way God can speak to you is through his word the bible god through his word will reveal to you you know what he has purposed for you in your life god gave us something as humans mankind he gave us free will that's why there's good and evil god gave us the ability to decide what we want okay so the basic thing is to know the general principles that are in the bible and you know that govern our kingdom the kingdom of God first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 it says in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you in everything give thanks good things give thanks bad things give thanks sometimes those situations are the test that you need to get to the next phase in life. Proverbs 19, 21. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's counsel that will stand. His counsel will stand. His, another version says that many are the plans in a man's heart, but the Lord's will will prevail. You need to find purpose and then walk in a direction towards achieving it. I remember talking to a friend of mine, great photographer, shout out to Oksana Bernard. He did not study photography. He did something, I'm, I'm not even sure exactly what it is now, engineering. And engineering is not, and first of all, it's not even easy. And then second, it takes a long time. Any other plans in a man's heart, he probably wanted to be an engineer. But God said, my counsel on your life will prevail and I wanted you to be a photographer. Wouldn't it have been easy to sail through photography as a major in college or as a professional course? He ended up going to develop himself, of course, that's why he's a professional now, but that's just a perfect example of this verse. Many have the plans in man's heart, but it's God's counsel that will prevail. You need to be intentional about finding purpose you need to want to know what your purpose is you know take time out for yourself sit down write out the things you like the things you really really like the things you really really don't like um, i know a couple of people that have found purpose by knowing what they really don't like because sometimes what you really 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 don't like is what you really really need to work on uh, it is my prayer for everybody watching this that God leads you into finding purpose. Thank you for watching. I hope you've gotten a lesson or two from this. Don't forget, it's never too early or too late to find purpose. So enjoy your weekend and be the best version of you. God bless you.